About eight years ago, I had this idea of building an aquaponic greenhouse. Now, at the time, I really didn't have a lot of knowledge about how to build such a thing, how to put it together, how to you know, make it functionally work. And I really didn't have a very good idea of how to, you know, once it was working, how to take care of it, the chemistry, what kind of fish you use, and, you know, all of those sorts of things. What would grow in it and what wouldn't grow well in it. Well, anyway, I've been using this thing for eight years now, and I've learned a lot of things about how to take care of it and just basically how to make it work. And if you know what you're doing, you can grow a lot of food in, a, in an enclosed greenhouse like this in like a 12 by 24 space. So I want to show you how I built this thing. It, it wasn't really that hard. It just took a little bit of time and a little bit of uh, effort every single day. If you just work at it, oh, an hour or two hours a day, but do it all the time, you'd be surprised how fast something gets done. Now, the first thing I had to do was kind of lay down the basic dimensions of what this greenhouse was going to be. Also, I had to get some idea of what I wanted to do with the inside, how I was going to lay everything out. I decided I was going to put uh, grow beds, aquaponic grow beds, on both sides of the greenhouse and leave the center kind of uh, empty for now to grow things in the soil and other ways. I wanted to keep things very simple by using only one pump and having everything drain back to a main sump somewhere. Now it turned out that the upper right corner there, this uh, greenhouse picture you see the outline, that was a low point in the greenhouse. So that was a perfect place to dig the pond. So I got right to it and started digging that hole. It was about four feet deep at the deep end and I figured it would probably have held about a thousand gallons. Well after I'd gotten the pond all dug out properly and the walls all straight and all that sort of thing, I had to do something to uh, stabilize the top so that uh, after I put the pond liner in, the, you know, the top just wouldn't crumble in on itself. So I had some railroad ties that a friend of mine gave me and uh, drag, I dragged them in to uh, stabilize the top layer of the pond. Boy, those, those railroad ties, they were heavy. Okay, got him. There we go. Well, after a lot of huffing and puffing and doing, uh, we got it. I've got the pond in. Now it's not completely finished, but it's in. It's holding water. I've got one fish in there. I've been filling this with this little uh, line here. And this is the old air conditioning line. Well, there you go. And now it was time to start building the first set of aquaponic grow boxes. And I thought I'd start with the ones that were on the west side of the greenhouse. Now, as you can see here, they're just boxes made out of uh, chipboard plywood. And it's very simple. <laughs> and what they're lined with is uh, uh, greenhouse plastic. And the reason I chose this is because regular plastic cannot stand the sunshine very long. Now the next task was running fill and drain lines for these grow boxes that I had built that were over on the east side of the or the west side of the greenhouse. So the first thing to do was drop a pump into the uh, fish pond. And there you can see right there the hose runs around the fish pond and then it runs around the perimeter of the uh, greenhouse until it go comes to the end of the very last grow box down there. And you can see as I'm walking the length of this pipe here on the bottom with all the big holes in it. That's the end of the fill pipe and it overflows and drains into that drainage pipe 
And all of this goes back to the fish pond and just circulates continuously. Okay, so there's the goldfish. Should be about a dozen in there. Alright, and we'll take the bag over and out you go, fish. Alright. Well now as time went on, in a couple of years, these goldfish got awfully big. Some of them got, I think, about a foot long. They were just huge. And then they started multiplying, and I, and I got hundreds of these things. And they even went into the grow beds. I guess what happened was the eggs or the very small fish uh, must have made it through the pump and survived the trip. And then they uh, started living in all of the grow beds. And I never fed them in there. They just ate all of the uh, excess, I guess, algae and things like that. So this turned into an uh, ecosystem, kind of.